Hey, all. Have you ever wanted to get out of town just as a, you know, have some fun, maybe get a vacation going, possibly even get away from that lab that's about to explode, or even worse, the in-laws? Well, now you can with the patented Panda Technology Ejector Suits. What does this thing do? Everything you need it to. <laughs> Not only will it get you out of town, it'll get you out of trouble. And in the best case scenario, it gets rid of your opponents. Hi, y'all. <laughs> here with more space engineers. And today we are doing... Well, actually, you know what? Let's do this really quick, because we can. <laughs> We're going to do a little bit of wheel o clang today. Why? Because we can. So what we're going to do is we've got a bunch of themes set up. And what we're looking at today is potentially we are doing automated production. Custom turrets. Panda's choice. You got to see the ejector seat earlier, so that would be a modified version of the surface to orbit delivery. Cargo delivery, the Ferris wheel, a land vehicle, or aircraft. Those are our potential builds today. We're not sure which one we're going to end up with, so let's find out. Uh, should be this one. Give it a second. It should start going. Hey, hey there it is. Wheel of Wheel of Clang. <laughs> oh, great Wheel of Clang. What are we going to be building today? Are we ready to... F Let's see. Looks like it's slowing down. What's everyone's... <laughs> Quick, pause the video. Let me know down in the comments which, which one do you think it's going to be. <laughs> oh. Ooh, portable bunker. Automated production. Oh. Cargo delivery. Mechanical. Okay. Catapult it is. All right. So. <laughs> what we need to do then is we need to build a mechanical cargo delivery system. Now, I'm thinking... We got mechanical, right? Yep, okay. But not necessarily pistons. Alright. Whee! Okay. And that should be the reset. Oh, that's reset. Okay. So we now have a nice long bit of runway. And we have a whole lot of stuff that we can do. So there's a couple of different thoughts, schools of thought here. We're looking for a mechanical conveyor system of some kind, right? Or a cargo delivery system of some kind. So we have a couple of options of what we can do with this. Let's go, let's see. We want the cargo to go from somewhere to somewhere else. All right, so if we go let's see here, bring this up, go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. Uh, we don't need the tools, we just need blocks. Okay, so let's go light armor blocks, uh, light armor block, light armor block, just get our basic blocks in here. Um, let's grab some rotors, maybe some pistons, oh, how about some landing gear, these are always fun to throw in there, and then obviously we need a cargo box, right? And we're gonna do, we're gonna do it with a large cargo container because we can. So the idea is that we're going to have a vehicle that has cargo on it in some way. We need to be able to get that cargo 
mechanically removed from the ship or from the delivery location and uh, moved into a position where we can actually drain the cargo out of the container, right? Critical. All right, so let's see what we got in here. Mm. What do we got? What makes sense? So first we need to get it off of a ship. So we're definitely going to need some pistons. Okay, we're going to need... Oh, no, not hangar doors. We want blast doors. Let's grab blast doors. So there's a couple of different ways we can do this somewhat easily. Right? Let's see. Uh, how close are you? If we do that All right, and we're just gonna sight in here oh look at that okay that's actually perfect then and we're gonna get rid of that for a second okay oh there we go i'm gonna bring this back a few Uh, let's see, oh, we want large cargo, so we're going to paint some things here, we're going to mark some areas. We want the, when we're looking at the cargo container, we want the center of the cargo container to line up with that area there, right? Because uh, we're going to have... A connector. And so what we want to do... That actually needs to come over one then. Okay. Oh, that's actually... Everything lines up with where it needs to be. Yeah, so we want... We're going to just do this. And we're going to get rid of this. Now, I had a couple people ask me, why am I doing this in uh, in creative build instead of... Because we are actually in a survival save. Um, part of it is I'm trying to be able to do this all in one build setting. Or all in one day, basically. So you are where it needs to be. So you're going to be... There. Um, and honestly, once you get to the point where you're able to gather resources, the rest of it doesn't matter so much. So you're going to be there. And so basically what we're doing is we're just kind of looking at what can we do that's fun in Space Engineers. You know, just have a little bit of, just do a little bit of ridiculous stuff. Right, so if we do something like that, we then go like so. All right, and so we're going to have these in here. So because what these will let us do is have blocks that, in theory, the piston shouldn't stick to, because we are going to do a piston in here. This may need to come back more. Because I can put a block in. Let's see, you need to be there, right? Alright, so that's where we need to get it to. And that actually gets us pretty close in there. It just has to come up like a block. So what I think we'll do... Is... Like so...
And if we do... Oh, let's go... Like this. And how about... We'll, we'll make it look somewhat pretty, right? So if we do, because we may actually have to uh, move this back a little bit. Yeah, it's got to go back one block. Yeah, okay. Alright, so if we're going to bring this back on one more block. And yes, this is how I prototype a lot of my stuff, so... Uh, you're going to go there. Alright. So the question is, is now, if we do... this. So we're going to reverse this. Okay, so that's locked on, right? Looks like that locked. Let's try this here. Okay. It looks like it's working for us. And what we're going to do is we're going to set a, uh, a minimum distance that it can come back. So that it will line up with the with the uh, connector up there, and we'll end up basically replacing the original blocks that we had, so we can figure this. So we can figure the distances out. Right, so now we need this is going to okay. We do need actually. We don't use these very often. Let's use them now. <laughs> I can't remember how to. You know, what? that's too much work. It's been a while since I've used the voxel hands, and I don't remember how to do the. Uh, to change the size of them, so we're gonna do. See what. Let's turn the light on here. Hopefully, there we go. We don't need much. We just need it to be a little bit deeper so that we can get um, some landing gear in here or something. I'll show you what we're thinking here. So we're going to be playing with a lot of uh, mixed grid sizes for this. So we definitely want to keep in mind, you know, just what it is we're doing here. Right, so 
just get this moved back just a little bit. I'm liking this idea of the, the whole wheel of clang thing. I just have to, uh, yeah, it makes me get a little bit more creative with my builds. No pun intended. And, you know, just because I'm not a huge fan of things just kind of floating around. Go ahead and get that out. Okay. So if we do... Fuel critical. Uh, so we're not going to be... So basically have to clear out a whole lot of uh, stuff here. See, I miss the old days with the using the uh, the, the voxel hands. It's the same as mining it. All right. Okay, not really, but you know, it's okay. All right. So we definitely want to make sure we don't have anything. This is sticking to these uh, piston parts. Let's get rid of all that. Get rid of all the potential voxel in, uh, inclusions. Do not want any inclusions here. I will fix that shortly. Okay, so that should give us plenty of place, or plenty of space, rather, uh, to place that. Uh, if we do that, okay, so let's go ahead and reverse this. Why is that coming up as an air? That's interesting. Piston head now comes up as an air vent. Okay, good to know. I mean, that, that was kind of crazy. Yeah, so it comes up as an air vent. So I can depressurize a piston head. Right. So if we do this, how close are you going to get us here? And it's pretty close. We do a second one. It should get us all the way. Yeah, that is actually rather annoying. Um, I don't remember that being true before. I think I think the piston heads used to uh, register as a piston head. Right. So let's see where this takes us. That is actually bloody perfect. Okay. So we are going to then do a rotor. Oh, I forgot they don't have. Uh, all right. That uh, should be. There we go. So we're going to call this our cargo router. Right. 
So we're going to eject the head off of this. We're going to put a small grid head in. And then we're going to build a small framework up. Actually... I wonder, can we get away with... Because if we can get away with just that directly... Can we get away with that directly? Fuel critical. Let's see here. Oh, that does work now. Okay, awesome. That's even bloody better. Okay. That. Oh, that's going to work nicely. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do... Like so. Take that out. And we want that. Which means we might actually be able to get away with just maybe making this whole thing. So let's go here review. So if we have I wanna be able to I miss the days when we used to be able to just um Put things directly on it without worrying too much about it. Okay, so the question is, is does this work? Ah! <laughs> Come on, let me out. It let me fall through, but it won't let me out easily. Come on, there we go. Alright, so we're going to do... Uh, there's line two landing gear on this grid, so... We're going to... I'll turn off auto lock on that. And we're going to go ahead. Come here, you. So you're going to be cargo piston one. And the other one. Piston two. We want that to reverse for right now. Now the question is, is will this have enough clearance? Because I guess what we could do is, let me get over here really quick. And we're going to go gear. You're unlocked, you're unlocked. You're locked. Okay. 
Okay, so you are going to be cargo landing gear. Um, So let's go ahead and reverse this one. Now the landing gear, what, see my one concern is that this landing gear is going to be So for this to work, Energy low. this will have to be pretty far back actually. Okay, so if this is going to work. We want this to be... as close to possible. Alright. So we know that one is on... Uh, you are the... We're just going to call it zero two. Right, so if we unlock this one, uh, you're on this piston. Then we can retract this one. Alright. And then it is bringing this beastie back. And we want to... A large number of my Cargo delivery systems will have cargo pods. Alright, so that needs to go three meters minimum. Okay, so. We want you to go. Actually, uh, yeah, let's try three meters. And reverse. So let's go 2.5. Two point five should get us in there, and then we just do a battery on this. Oh. Awesome. Okay, so yes, it will get us from point A to point B, which means now we just have to build a cargo system, or a ship with a cargo system, that will allow us to actually unload everything. 
which we're not going to be able to do here because of the way that the runway is built out. But what we can do as a bit of a simulation here, we could, so if our runway was fashioned appropriately, let's put that in there. You could have the vehicle on its wheels roll over here. This thing locks onto the gear. The uh, connector disconnects, drops the cargo down onto the landing gear. Landing gear then brings it over. The second landing gear pulls it up and unload. Okay. So if we have all that set up appropriately. Where is our And the thing is is that you could actually build this with just one piston if you want it to. You know, and have it um, pull in from the side. It just depends on how you're building. This would definitely be something that like, gets you going. Okay. So if we go... Alright, so what we're going to do... Energy critical is we actually have a cargo lifter. But more importantly, we have modular cargo. Let's use this. So this is something that I built in series, uh, like right before the economy update, uh, back when they did the 1.0 launch. This was something I built on camera. We actually did a bunch of testing with. We were able to get it all balanced out so that it drops fairly, fairly level. And so what you'll be able to do is, let's say you had something like this. Let's go ahead and get rid of. Yeah, get rid of that block. And let's put our uh, connector on here. All right. So now we are going to take that. And we're going to have it positioned, say there. Oh, I forgot to turn the auto lock on the... Uh... <laughs> yes, got to get rid of that for a second. Oh, uh, see? Even when we're doing stupid stuff, we're still doing stupid stuff. There you go. And we want our landing gear, because this is... There we go. Let's repair this really quick. Ah, oh, of course not. All right. There we go. All right, so if we have... Ah, uh, really? All right, there we go.
And I've got no energy again. Do I have anything close by that I can get power from really quick? Yeah. I don't need much, I just need a little bit. Okay, that should be good. All we're trying to do is get this done. We're so close. It just has to be functional. Now, do we actually have anything in here? No. We have parachutes. Okay, so we can we can check if we have parachutes. In fact, I've got a bunch of other stuff. Let's go ahead and just throw random stuff into the cargo, shall we? There we go. Okay. And that will let us know if this whole thing works. Which we're going to hope it does. So we're going to go ahead and set this whole thing up. Hopefully. Cargo gear, cargo gear. Okay. And... See, are you though? Okay, so that's the one for here. So we need so we're going to do gear. We want it to switch lock. All this cargo gear. Now we have one of these already set to auto lock. One of uh, they're both set to auto lock. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we want you to be actually. Come here. Oh, come on. There we go. We do pistons. So we want these two pistons to be grouped, right? Okay. We're going to go ahead and reverse both of those. Let's turn that off. Oh, God. Because it is entertaining, but... Uh, we're going to have you reverse. Oh, uh, you... will reverse. Then we're going to do gear on our cargo gear to switch lock. Okay, so that's going to go out. comes back and Hello. fuel critical look at that and then button 4 is let's get in here because we want to Hold on. 
Get it. We'll call that cargo connector. Switch lock. And so now we should be able to see everything in that cargo. Large cargo container on a separate grid. Everything there. Look at that. We have a cargo delivery system. All right. So now that we have that, Energy critical. in order to put it back out for pickup or delivery or removal, you then do everything in reverse. You unlock that. You reverse that gear once again, or that piston once again. When it's fully extended, you switch the lock. And retract the other system. We have a fully functioning cargo system. Look at that. <laughs> All right. So, ah, not bad for the first episode of Wheel of Clang. <laughs> and we didn't actually blow anything up for once. Well, okay, we, we did crush a couple of cargo containers, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> uh, so hopefully this uh, will inspire you in your own builds. Like I said, it is a very simple system. We could actually have played with some rotors and had things do handoffs. But uh, maybe we'll do that in the, uh, the Pimp My Ship or uh, Panda My Ship. <laughs> Ah, but that gives you a very simple cargo delivery system with connection. Okay, so on that note, we're going to get out of here. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, if so, make sure you hit that like button. If you did get some any, if you did get any inspiration from this for uh, your own builds, be sure to link those down in the comments as, as well. I'm always interested in seeing what the community comes up with. Uh, but yeah, on that note, we're going to get out of here. Uh, if you are new to the channel, haven't done so already, want to do something nice for me in this new year, be sure to hit that subscribe. And if you want to be kept up to date as new content comes out, well, there's what that little bell icon is for as well. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to get out of here. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy your new year, and we will see you back here next time for more uh, Space Engineers. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Oh, now to go reset the wheel. <laughs>